I'm David Howard. I'm the founding head of the electronic engineering department here at Royal Holloway. And I've just had um, released a nature paper which is concerning the synthesis of the sounds of an Egyptian mummy. Now this Egyptian mummy, he's called Neziamun, and he resides in Leeds Museum in his sarcophagus. And we were able to move him to the hospital across the road to take a MRI scan to produce a CT image of his vocal tract. Now, if we produce an image of the vocal tract, we can convert that into sound because the image itself tells us where the airway is between his larynx, which is about here, and his lips. And this is a right angle tube. And if we can see the soft tissue and the bone and the air, we can establish the airway. We can then put a sheath in the virtual world around the airway and send that sheath to a 3D printer and create the tube. And this here is his tube. So you'll see his tongue is just slightly sticking out of his mouth. This is his mouth. And this is the main mouth area. This is his throat. And exactly where it meets this cone is where his larynx is. So if we put a sound in at this point, which is equivalent to the sound of one's larynx as a human speaker, what we get out the other end is the speech-like sound that this particular shape makes. Now, by way of demonstration here, I have um, an artificial larynx, which is a device that's commonly used with people who have their vocal folds removed, normally due to cancer. And this produces a buzz. And that buzz is very similar to the sound you would get if you chopped my head off just above my larynx as I was making a sound. But that's an expensive thing to do, so we'll do it with the electronics. But I can do the opposite and replace my larynx with this. And I can carry on speaking to you using this device. Even though that's not particularly comfortable. But what we can do is we can take the plastic tract and stimulate it with the electronic larynx. It becomes... So there's a kind of vowel-like sound in that, somewhere between e and a. And there are various reasons for that. The project was about capturing exactly his tract as he is in his sarcophagus. And you'll notice, firstly, that his tongue is sticking out of his mouth. Now, you can't really talk like that because your tongue's in the way. So this is part of the burial rite, that his tongue is in that shape. And we tasked ourselves with creating the sound that he would make in his sarcophagus if he was still speaking to prove the concept. The other thing about the sound is it's created with his tongue, which yes, it's sticking out, but it's also lost the bulk that we all have on our tongues. It's put in the big muscle. I think it's dried out over the years because he is 3000 years old. One of the things that's really curious about doing this is the word Naziamun means true old voice. And it is said that he was keen that his voice remains in perpetuity. So one of the aspects behind the scenes of this project is that we are bringing the sound of his voice back to life 3,000 years after he was interred. 